keep in contact with our friends on the front lines, including those over at the West Bloomfield Police Department. We're pleased to be joined now by Dispatch Manager Keisha Williams, as well as Deputy Police Chief Kurt Lawson on the Megacast. Keisha, Kurt, thanks for being with us today. You're welcome. Great to see you, Tyler. Yeah, good, you. good to see you too as well. So Keisha, let's start with you as the Dispatch Manager over at the Police Department's 911 Communications Center. Tell us a little bit about your career and, and how those experiences that you've had previously in your career helped you find success in your current role with the Police Department. Well, I would say it all began uh, in the military. I was in communications there, and it just translated over into the civilian side of being a, a public safety uh, dispatcher. I've been a public safety dispatcher for many, many years. And with that, I grew up through the ranks, so to speak, holding as many positions as I could throughout. And by doing so, it helped me to see and understand what it is that dispatchers need and want. It's a difficult occupation, especially since it's shift work, and not everyone is cut out to do shift work. So having an understanding of that um, has helped a great deal. And seeing how uh, life unfolds with people, it helps to have a good understanding of uh, people and um, life itself, I would say. An organization has to be vitally important in a situation like that because there is so much to manage. You're not only pointing our officers and our, and our other first responders in the right direction, but you're also collecting information that is coming in from people in the community at their worst hour, at their absolute, uh, at an absolute high stress time that they need help right away and they're trying to get all this information out to you. And so not only collecting all that, but also managing your staff and making sure that they're in their best position possible to do their job as best as possible, uh, that has to come with some major organization. So what changes have you made from your past experience and from your experience communicating with their dispatchers and with the leaders in the police department in your time with West Bloomfield? I would say it's dispatchers are, um, we talk about unsung heroes and you're really talking about dispatchers. They're never seen. They're here 24 seven. They're never the voice out front, always the voice behind. And I think that working at this department, they have helped with um, bringing the dispatchers to the forefront for people to see who they are and know what they are doing. And I would also say uh, one of those things is also we've engaged in emergency medical and emergency fire dispatching, which has helped uh, the dispatchers to be able to keep up with the community in terms of we have a lot of medicals here in West Bloomfield area in the tri city So um, having a software program that actually helps them with their calls it's been really great for the community and for the dispatchers. Keisha Williams joins us on the Megacast alongside Kurt Lawson. She is the dispatch manager of the West Bloomfield Police Department 911 Communications Center. And Kurt Lawson is the deputy police chief of the West Bloomfield Police Department. And Keisha, let's talk more about the impact of technology on uh, first responders in the modern age, especially over the last several years. How much greater of a role has technology played in making dispatch more efficient and more effective so that the police department, the fire department, and so on can provide better service to the people of West Bloomfield and the surrounding area? A technology is at the forefront of what we do now. Um, we have Q, uh, CAD, which is uh, computer-aided dispatch systems, and that integrates with uh, GIS technology. Uh, it helps us to have a uh, more uh, valid location meter for where citizens are when they need uh, assistance. Uh, there's the uh, ABLs in the vehicle um, to uh, help us to know where cars are at. Um, technology has also gone to uh, Texty, where you can text to 911. Uh, that's the basis coming from Oakland County. Uh, we are hoping in the future, near future, to also have that on our side. Um, there's just so much, even as we speak now, there's some states that are beta testing videos where you can send videos to 911 in reference to things that are happening. So technology is definitely at the forefront of where we're at right now. We're joined by Keisha Williams, the dispatch manager for West Bloomfield Police Department's 911 Communications Center. We're also joined by Deputy Police Chief of the West Bloomfield Police Department, Kurt Lawson. And, and, and Kurt, we, we've spoken all, already a bit about uh, Keisha's experience and, and how her leadership has impacted her department uh, 
at the pl at the police department, uh, the 911 communication center so far, but across the board in the police department, especially now as there have been so many more calls and for accountability of our police departments, how much more important across the board, whether it be those that <clears throat> are managing officers or those that are in the, di the dispatch center and other areas of the department, how much more important now than ever is it to have quality leadership on your team in a police department, not only to better serve the community, but to make sure that you are training your officers and training your other employees to be better servants of the community? That's a great question, Tyler. And obviously, I think leadership, uh, management, and law enforcement is, is essential, especially in, in this day and age. And I think we've, we've had those things in place here at West Bloomfield for as long as I've been here for 26 years. As far as the communications team and our dispatch center, uh, Lieutenant Tilly, Chief Pat, and myself, we oversaw the dispatch center for a number of years, but we really wanted to take that dispatch center up to another level. And we were simply not capable of doing that by ourselves. We needed someone to come in that had the experience, that had the knowledge uh, to build a team, uh, to bring that technology in, uh, that had all of those leadership skills to take us to, another, to the next level. And that's where, uh, you know, hats off to Keisha. She has done a fantastic job and uh, we have reached that next level. Uh, we continue to, to build uh, on the building blocks that she started and she'll continue to see through in the, into the future. So we're very much looking forward to uh, in the next year or two, getting a new state-of-the-art dispatch center, continuing to attract the very best talent and then putting a very uh, good leadership team in place, which will be overseen by Keisha Williams. So Kurt, just continuing on the topic of leadership, because leadership in a general sense has a number of different qualities, but, but those qualities sometimes don't translate as well from one area of life to another. So in terms of working in the police department, whether you are the dispatch manager such as Keisha is to your right, or, or you are Lieutenant Tilly or Chief Patton or, or so on, or other officers that are out in the front lines each and every day, especially in modern policing, what makes for a good leader that ends up translating to being a quality police officer and police employee? Well, I think it starts with integrity. Uh, it start, you have vision uh, and the ability to build a team. Uh, it can't be a one person show. Uh, you have to do it together. And once you attract that talent, you, you, un, you tell them where you want to go. You give them the tools to get there. Uh, and we've seen it day in and day out uh, with Miss Williams. Um, we get to where we want to go. We've gotten to that next level. Just absolutely outstanding job by her. And, and that's why I wanted to have her on today to kind of showcase uh, the incredible talent that we, we brought in here. And it's and she'll tell you, it's just not about Keisha. It's about the incredible team that she has she has put together. And they do an outstanding job day in and day out. So Keisha, let, let's continue on that now. We're joined by Keisha Williams, dispatch manager at the West Bloomfield Police Department 911 Communications Center, as well as Kurt Lawson, deputy police chief of the West Bloomfield Police Department. So we've talked more uh, in a broad sense about what, what, it need, what is needed to be a quality leader in a police department across the board in the modern age. In, in terms of dispatchers, Keisha, what makes for a quality dispatcher? Oh my goodness. Uh, I would say for a quality dispatcher, uh, someone who has a uh, strong self-control emotionally wise is as far as being able to handle the many calls that come in uh, the needs of the first responders that we sent out so I, I would definitely say strong um, emotional self-control the ability uh, to be empathetic uh, to be sensitive and patient with those that are calling in for assistance uh, all those things are needed. Oh. We're joined by Keisha Williams. She's the dispatch manager of the West Bloomfield Police Department 911 Communications Center alongside Kurt Lawson, deputy police chief, with us today on the Megacast. And in a typical day, what does a dispatcher experience? Well, I'm going to first say there is no typical day in the life of a dispatcher because you have no idea what is going to happen next. Um, and in today's world, that can be anything at any given moment. So while you may come in and you greet your, your partners, those that are going off duty, you're coming in, you share the, what has happened. But in that moment, anything again can happen and you must be prepared. We are always ready for whatever will come next. 
Um, is oftentimes you get the same types of calls, but then there are those times when you get things that you have no idea. You have no idea is the training that you have, the tools that have been given to you that it will help you to get through the situation and move on to the next. And you, need so, to be, and you need to be able to be cool and calm, as you said earlier on, and you need to be able to manage stressful situations, but also just the general stress of the volume of calls, of the stresses of regular life in the age that we're in, especially during the pandemic. What are some of the, the coping skills or, or the methods that are most effective for your dispatchers to be able to manage that stress and continue to provide quality service to the community, but also not have the stresses and the anxieties of the job that are just a natural part of it take a toll on them personally? Well, actually, I would have to say it is what this department has recently implemented that has helped the dispatchers a great deal, okay. as well as I do believe everyone within the police department of knowing that you have people um, that can help you through those times. And I think Deputy Chief Lawson would be uh, the best person to speak on that. Okay, yeah, Kurt, anything to say on that matter? Well, something that we've seen in law enforcement for many years is that, you know, we're kind of portrayed as these tough guys and girls and that uh, we don't need to ask for help. And there's this certain stigma of asking for help in law enforcement. And we're, we're really trying to break down that barrier. We created a peer support team here of informal leaders that are specifically trained, they're specially trained to be able to sit down and listen to people uh, that might be going through trouble times um, to give them coping skills. We also have a psychologist uh, that liaisons with this team. Uh, we've started to implement uh, debriefs. So if we have a very stressful situation or a major incident that everyone's gonna sit down and they're gonna talk about what happened, what we did well, what we didn't do so well, talk a little bit about our feelings um, so just kind of breaking down the barriers that have been in place in law enforcement for so many years, that's, that's what we're trying to do. And we continue to look for ways where uh, we can bring our people help when they, when they really need it. We're joined by Kurt Lawson, Deputy Police Chief, and Keisha Williams, the Dispatch Manager for the West Bloomfield Police Department 911 Communication Center. And Keisha, just another couple minutes before we'll say goodbye to the two of you today. For those out in the community, who hopefully don't need to be making 911 calls uh, very often, if ever. But when they, but if and when they come into a situation where they do, to best help our dispatchers, provide the best service to those people, but also to the community and to our police and fire departments, what would you suggest that they do to, to best help the situation on their end? I would say have patience, remain calm. Um, we understand that what is happening to you is the most critical thing that could be happening. We do understand that, but we also have questions that we need to ask uh, in order to help the first responders. There's uh, safety reasons why we ask some of the questions that we ask, and we just ask that you just be patient and know that the questions are for your benefit to help you. Well, Keisha, Kurt, we appreciate having you on just another minute or so before we'll say goodbye today. Anything else that you would like to say today or any other information that would be important for our audience to know at this time about the police department, about the dispatch center, and so on? Well, one of the things as a leader I try to do is we want to put the right leadership in place, which we have. We want to bring in the best equipment, which we're going to do and have been doing. But we want to get the very best talent for her team. So we continue to look for people that might be interested in being uh, professional dispatchers. Uh, that's someone that has to remain calm, understand the techniques of de-escalation, uh, be able to multitask. Uh, but if you're interested, uh, we're certainly interested in you and, and reach out to our human resource department or to Keisha. And uh, we'd love to interview you and get you to be part of our team. And I think we have one of the very best teams around and we continue to get better every day. Well, we appreciate having both of you on today. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Tyler.